All right. So now, uh, hopefully that was a you know a point. The point. Um, I'm gonna go into this article, mestizo. All right. That's another controversial term you niggas pull out. All right. Mestizo from uh, Wikipedia. It says mestizo is a traditionally u is a term traditionally used in Spain, um, Latin America, and Philippines for people of mixed heritage or descent. In some countries, it has come to mean a mixture of European and Amerindian, while in others, such as Venezuela, mestizo means being mixed without specifying which admixture. Which really that's what it does mean, because you know, whenever they bring out oh mestizo they'll bring out oh his father's from Spain they never bring out the fact that their mother can be from Spain their father could be indigenous man because that was going on a lot too man you, you can't you're not gonna tell me Jake's didn't pop no fucking white woman man that's been going on since fucking 3,000 years ago man all right so just because he's mestizo that don't mean he's a friggin Edomite on his dad's side all right it can mean his dad's an Indian indigenous native and his fucking mom's an Edomite Right, which makes him what an Israelite, all right? Because the gene is from the father. It says the term was used to racial category as a racial category in the caste system <clears throat> that was in use during the Spanish Empire's control of their American colonies. It was used to describe those who had one European-born parent, which could be the mom, right, and and one who was a member of an indigenous American population. In some countries while it was used to refer to people of European, African, and indigenous admixture in, other in others like Venezuela. In the caste system, mestizos had fewer rights than European-born persons called peninsulares and creoles who were persons born in the New World <clears throat> of two European-born parents but more rights than indios and negros. Uh, I believe this is, yeah, there's more. It's a during the Spanish during the Spanish colonial period, the Spanish developed a complex caste system based on race which was used for social control and which also determined a person's importance <clears throat> in society. There were four main categories of race, peninsular, a person of Spanish descent born in Slaque, person of Spanish descent born in Spain, criollo, uh, feminine criolla, a person of Spanish descent born in the Americas, indio, feminine india, uh, a person who was a native or of or indigenous to the Americas and for Negro feminine negra a person of African slave descent persons of mixed race were collectively referred to as castas during this era myriad other collectively slaki <coughs> during this era myriad other terms such as mulatto and zambo were used to differentiate racial mi mixtures by the end of the colonial period in 1821 over 100 categories of possible variations of mixture existed. That's fucking madness, man. You tell me there's uh, over 100 fucking terms, man. That's Isa. He's, he's a play on words, man. That's why, hey, that's why in the prophet says, believe not as many words, man. Don't you know that this is a fucking, um, uh, do, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, doctrine, of course, but, uh, how should I say, um, a tool, you know, an agenda better. To break up the brotherhood between Jude and Ephraim, man. All right, by making up all this craziness. <clears throat> all right, this little point here it says many indigenous people left their traditional villages and sought to be counted as mestizos. All right, <clears throat> all right so they're indigenous, but they left to try to be fucking Uncle Tom's, basically. Okay, that's what that's saying. To avoid tribute payments to the Spanish, many indigenous people and sometimes those with partial African descent who classified as mestizo if they spoke Spanish and lived as mestizo so it don't matter and this term is just a fucking throw around man it, it doesn't mean jack shit alright <clears throat> okay Mexico cause a lot of niggas say oh 90% of Mexico is not indigenous uh, I, man I hear that crazy shit all the time man <clears throat> so it says the large majority of Mexicans can be class classified as mestizos meaning in modern Mexican usage that they identify fully neither with any indigenous culture nor with a particular non-Mexican heritage but rather identify as having cultural trait, traits and heritage incorporating elements from indigenous and European traditions <coughs> so, okay. okay here's the stats uh, in May 2009 Mexico's National Institute of Genomic 
is the word gene again, Geno. G genomic uh, medicine issued a report on a genomic study that involved 300 mestizos from the states of Guerrero, Sonora, Veracruz, Yucatan, uh, Zacatecas, and Guanajuato. It says the study found that the mestizo population of these Mexican states were were on average 55% of indigenous ancestry, followed by 41. So there's more indigenous ancestry. All right, 41.8% of European and 1.8 African, and 1.2 East Asian ancestry. All right, I thought they were all fucking Asians because that's what crazy ass people say. All right, this so is the study also noted that whereas mestizo individuals from the southern states of Guerrero were on average 66% of indigenous ancestry, those from the northern state of Sonora were about 61.6 .6 of European ancestry. <clears throat> the study found that there were an increase in indigenous ancestry as one traveled towards the central and the more southerly states of the country while the indigenous ancestry declined as one traveled to the northern states in the country such as Sonora. It says according to another study presented by the American Society of Huma Human Genetics Mexicans were found to be 58.96% European, 36.05% Amerindian, and 5.03% African. Sonora shows the highest European contribution, 70.63%, and Guerrero, the lowest, 51.98%. In Guerrero, one also observes the highest Asian contribution, 37.17%. African contribution ranges from 2.8 in Sonora to 11.13 in Veracruz. 80% of Mexican population was, was classed as mestizo, Amerindian Spanish, which again could mean, in, in, in all cases, it doesn't mean um, the father is from Spain. All right, there's always obviously the possibility and the fact that um, the father was an indigenous and the mother was uh, from Spain. Okay. All right, so that was it on that. Um, I'm gonna read this article since you people say that Puerto, uh, Puerto Ricans or yeah Edomites or whatever. It says uh, this is from uh, Cornelius P. Rhodes, right? He was an American doctor and pathologist who became infamous for allegedly performing deadly experiments on human beings. Now let's find out which human beings <coughs> infecting cancer cells in the Puerto Ricans. Alright, I see the curses don't apply to them. And, and this dude, he's on Time Magazine and shit, and looking like a fucking hero and all this madness. Alright. 1949. <clears throat> Alright. It says, It has been claimed that in 1931, while working for the Rockefeller Institute for Medical Research, now Rockefeller University, Rhodes deliberately infected several Puerto Rican patients with cancer cells. Accusations against him are based on a letter he wrote, which states, The Puerto Ricans are the dirtiest, laziest, most degenerate and thievish race of men ever to inhabit this sphere. They are even lower than the Italians. Sicilian niggas, alright. I have done my best to further the process of extermination by killing off eight and transplanting cancer into several more. All physicians take delight in the abuse and torture of the unfortunate subjects. All right, man. What shows these fucking devils, man? They don't give a shit about the Puerto Ricans, man. And Puerto and that and this is a good case. You know why? Because the Puerto Ricans are the head trap of the Northern Kingdom, which means they don't give a shit about all you. All right, because they infected Gad with um. Uh, they put they give them blankets full of smallpox, man. They used the uh, <coughs> genetic warfare, bio-warfare. Alright. Uh, now we're going to go to some scriptures. Alright. Go to uh, the book of Hosea. Hosea 7 and 8. It says, Ephraim, he had mixed himself among the people. Ephraim is a cake not turned. <clears throat> Alright, so he had mixed himself among the people, among the other nations, 
He's a cake not turned. One side of the cake, when you bake it, is, is brown. Other side, if it's not cooked, obviously, it's fucking pale, man. Makes sense. You niggas, you crazy idiots out there, agents, I'll say. All right, you, you flip the scripture up like a damn cake, man. You flip it and flip it, man. All right? It clearly gives you the subject. All right? The storyline, which is Ephraim. He had mixed himself among the people. And it goes into detail, Ephraim is a cake not turned. All right? I mean, you got light-skinned Israelites. All right? Uh, I'm going to go to the Apocrypha. I'm going to uh, the rest of the book of Esther. 13, 3 to 4. It says, uh, Now when I asked my counselors how this might be brought to pass, Amon, that excelled in wisdom among us and was approved for his constant goodwill and steadfast fidelity and had the honor of the second place in the kingdom, declared unto us that in all nations throughout the world, there was scattered a certain malicious people that had laws contrary to all nations and continually despised the commandments of kings so as the uniting of our kingdoms honorably intended by us cannot go forward so he told this in all in all nations man there's a people man which are the israelites the jews okay uh let's go to the book of baruch saying in the apocrypha right Chapter 2, and, uh, verse 4. <clears throat> it says, uh, Moreover, he had delivered them to be in subjection to all the kingdoms that are round about us, to be as a reproach and desolation among all the people round about whom the where the Lord has scattered them. All right. And let's go again in the Apocrypha. A lot of scriptures in the Apocrypha. Uh, 2 Maccabees chapter 1 and 23 This is a prayer that the priests are singing 1 and 23 It says And the priests made a prayer Whilst the sacrifice was consuming I say both the priests and all the rest Jonathan beginning and the rest answering thereunto As Nehemiah did And the prayer was after this manner O Lord, Lord, power, creator of all things Who art fearful and strong and righteous and merciful And the only and gracious king The only giver of all things the only just almighty and everlasting thou that deliverest israel from all trouble and didst choose the fathers and sanctify them receive the sacrifice for the whole people israel and preserve thine own portion and sanctify it. gather those that were, are scattered from us deliver them that serve among the heathen look upon them that are despised and abhorred you got jakes that are despised and abhorred because the way they look man all right and let the heathen know that thou art our power Punish them that oppress us, and with pride do us wrong. Plant thy people again in thy holy place, as Moses has spoken. And the priest sung psalms of thanksgiving. Okay. And uh, to finish off, boy, it looks like all the scriptures are in the uh, Apocrypha. Second Ezra is uh, 2 and uh, two and 1. I'll read to 7. It says, uh, Thus said the Lord, I brought this people out of bondage, and I gave them my commandments. But my servants, the prophets, whom they would not hear, but despise my counsels, the mother that bare them, saith unto them, Go your way, ye children, for I am a widow and forsaken. I brought you up with gladness, but with sorrow and heaviness have I lost you. For ye have sinned before the Lord your power, and done that thing that is evil before him. But what shall I now do unto you? I am a widow and forsaken. Go your way, O my children. And ask mercy of the Lord, which the elect are doing right now. As for me, O Father, I call upon thee for witness over the mother of these children, which would not keep my command, my covenant, that thou bring them to confusion, and their mother to a spoil, that there be no off, that there may be no offspring of them. Let them be scattered abroad among the heathen. Let their names be put out of the earth, for they have despised my covenant. Man, their names I haven't put out of the earth, man. Judah, Benjamin, Levi, Ephraim. Now they're known as Negroes, Puerto Ricans, natives. Or what you niggas, man, you know, fuck you niggas anyway, man. You know? So, uh, you know, with that, I say all praises to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Barakatai, Yahweh, Barakatai, Yahweh, 
Double Lines to the Elders, Green Millstone, Shalom to the Elect, and uh, Shalom.